All right, as you can see, I've already entered in the error formulas, the absolute error formulas, the squared error formulas, all these formulas I've already entered in because we went over this in exponential smoothing. In fact, the last clip of exponential smoothing goes over how to program these formulas in. Uh, the other thing I did, uh, I changed these indexes around a little bit, but it won't matter because in this slide, in this clip, we're going to be optimizing these using Solver. Now, you can see that our forecast as it is now is off by quite a bit. Um, the pink or the whatever color this is represents our forecast. The blue represents the actual points of data. You can see that our forecast isn't that close. You will also notice that our MSE is over 700, and that's very high. So we're going to use Solver now to minimize the MSE. So I'm going to go up to Tools and click on Solver. And it's in the way, but hopefully you'll understand what's going on. Uh, the set target cell is where you put the objective function. In this case, we're going to treat the MSE as the objective function because we want to minimize that. In minimizing the MSE, we're going to increase the accuracy of our forecast because there's less error. Uh, the cells that we want to change, there's two sets of cells that we want to change. The first set are the numbers related to the trend, the slope and the, in and the intercept. So I'm going to click inside the By Changing Cells box, click and drag to select the slope and intercept cells. And next, I push comma to signify that I'm going to enter in more cells. And I'm going to move this down so we can see the cells that I'm going to enter. It's these four, the first four seasonal index cells. I'm just going to click and drag. And so now we've got the set of slope and intercept cells and the seasonal index cells entered into the by changing cells box. It's important. The next step is the constraints. And there's only one constraint and that is this. We want the seasonal sum cell, which is the sum of these indexes. It's just a rule of this type of forecasting that this should equal the number of, of uh, forecasting periods there are. So this should be 4 and I'm just going to type in the number 4. And I'm going to push OK and we've got everything added into here. The next step then is just to push solve and let Excel do the rest. So I push solve. It found a solution. I'm going to push OK. And you can see that our MSE has now gone from over 700 to only 18. A great big drop. So just to finish up, we'll look at our forecast now. And you can see that our forecast in the pink is much closer to the blue numbers, which is the original demand. And you can also see that uh, our forecast for the next four quarters is shown here too. It's also improved. And that is how you do use Solver to find the optimal slope and intercept and seasonal indexes for your trend and seasonal forecast.